Hello again and welcome to another tips and tricks session on clash detection. This one is geared towards the fabrication industry but of course uh, there's clash detection in all of our products. I'm going to focus specifically on Navisworks and how it, uh, inter it does the clash detection for, on behalf of Fabrication Academy P objects but uh, come, let's walk through this. So I've got Revit 2017 open here and uh, obviously you see that I've got some ductwork here clashing into uh, other pieces of ductwork and um, I mean you can do that you can do the visual checking when uh, when you're designing and, and you know as you're managing you know your designs you, you'll be able to see the clashes however when you start getting into big complicated models you need something to manage it for you and uh, prompt you when there are in fact collisions so let me kind of walk you through what we've got within each one of these products now we're again as I mentioned we're looking at Revit and in the Collaborate ribbon inside of Revit, we have an interference check tool. Now, I can show you how to run this in Revit and kind of, you know, explain, you, explain to you the process of doing that. Um, but there's a better tool that does clash detection. Um, and I'll get into the details why here in a minute. In AutoCAD MEP, here we're looking at a piping model this time. And I'm in plan view. And as you can see, I've got this duct over here, excuse me, this pipe over here, and it's obviously it's colliding with uh, with the rest of the piping, right? So if I go look at the analyze ribbon, I'll be able to see my interference detection tool here. And uh, I, again, I can kind of walk you through the process, and it will in fact find the collisions and kind of zoom to the location and all that stuff uh, right here within AutoCAD MEP. Now this is a design tool, this is not a fabrication tool, however there are capabilities that we can leverage the interference detection with the fabrication objects. Okay, so we also have Fabrication CAD MEP. This is yet, uh, this is our premier design tool uh, for, excuse me, our premier fabrication tool, specifically built on the AutoCAD platform, and this one is a little bit more fully featured than what you would see in Revit. So we have the capability here to uh, to leverage um, a different mode of how this works and this is called the fab viewer now within the fab viewer we have the capability to run interference checking in here as well so there's some collision checking that we can do within this product as well so down in the right uh, lower right hand corner here you're gonna see the the collision panel and to kick this off you you just have to type clash I think it's check excuse me it's check, um, it's check for conflicts, right? So double click on that and get the whole mode process started. But um, again, there's there's a better tool than all of these collision detection tools natively within the, the product. So I'm a big advocate for, uh, for Navisworks. And when you have Navisworks installed, you'll have the ability to create a Navisworks NWC file by typing NWC out. And uh, this file, it's just a cache file that uh, that you can then go and open within Navisworks Manage. So let me go ahead and open Manage and show you a few things as to why I think it's important to use Navisworks as opposed to the other uh, disciplines. So primarily, when you're doing fabrication work, you're probably not working in a vacuum. You're probably working with other disciplines that are coordinating on this project. There's probably an architectural partner on the project there is probably a structural partner on the project and you'll have to do all of your interference checking with uh, the following uh, disciplines right so you want to make sure you're coordinating everything not just your own one file now in Revit you would be coordinating against the other building elements but they would have to be Revit elements in AutoCAD MEP um, it's really strong when you work with other AutoCAD MEP objects but when you try to bring in a Revit file into AutoCAD to do, you know, the the the, the structure or the architectural uh, interference check, it just doesn't work all that well. It it um, you bring in a, a big solid and it doesn't give you the right information, and that's what our Navisworks tool is purpose built to do. So let me show you how I go about setting up a couple of things. So a couple of things I want to do is I want to introduce you to the selection tree. Now what this does is it breaks down the file which came from AutoCAD into um, the, the organization that I had there, which in this case happens to be the layer organization. I also have this, uh, this panel called sets. There's nothing in here yet. I will populate it 
then we'll run through the clash detections. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, um, let's go ahead and just run an initial test. So let's add a test. Let's just call this initial attempt at clashing. Okay, so all I want to do is pick from the left and pick from the right and then run the test. And you'll see that I've got, um, very quickly here, I was able to get 915 objects um, clashed here. And I can go through this uh, this results and just kind of, it'll zoom in to the next, uh, onto the next clash and whatnot. So it's pretty important that um, we manage this properly because 915 clashes isn't very realistic. Like, I don't understand what this clash is. and it'll give you information about what each object is if you scroll over it'll kinda of give you that information about what it is but um, really what I wanna do is I just kinda of wanna figure out okay so let's just worry about the mechanical piping so how do we break this out and how do we get that to work so let's do let's do another test okay so let's add a test let's say we're looking for mechanical mechanical piping Okay, and this time I'm going to get a little bit more refined and try to find just those particular uh, clashes. So I can dive down in here and I can open these guys up from the left column, which is the Aaron, Zach, and Jay example file that I've opened up here. I can see that I've got mechanical HVAC layers, mechanical piping layers, and then it looks like plumbing layers. So really what I want to do is I want to select um, by holding the shift button I can click only those layers that I want to clash so I can go ahead and click on these and then I can run the test so here I can see that just for the mechanical piping I've got 44 clashes that I'll be able to work with here so let me dock this into position I want to pin it in and then as I click on each individual f subsequent clash you'll see that it kinda zooms into place and, and kinda gets me the information that I need now one thing that I that I noticed earlier when I was going through this is that it not only is it clashing the pipe against the pipe, but it's also doing the pipe against the design line, which is just 2D elements. So I want to filter out the design lines, and we can do that by using um, the selection tree, okay? So let's look at the tree here. Now I can turn off all of these layers that you see here um, that are referred to as design uh, layers so I'll just kinda hold the control button and pick up pick up on all of these design uh, layers and as you can see they turn blue and you can kinda see where they are and I can turn them on and off if I want to a better way to handle this is to make a, uh, a selection set based off of that criteria so let's go find items and let's tell it let's look for layers that contain this designation D S G N those are design lines and I want to get rid of them so let's go D S G N so I can find all of them and, and as you can see it found every one of them now in the sets I will save this search okay now the difference between saving a search and saving a set is real subtle very few people actually understand how to use that so these are design lines <clears throat> now the, the difference as I mentioned before is if I were to go modify my, my source drawing in Fabrication Academy P and add a bunch of design lines and and stuff like that when I come back to this uh, Navisworks file it will automatically because it's searching for design lines it will automatically find the new ones even though I never defined them originally a set saving a selection set makes you uh, save what you have selected and it's a snapshot so if you go modify and you, you work on your file for two weeks and then you bring it back into Navisworks all the new stuff that you've added will not be in the selection set so there's sets and then there's searches and I'm a big fan of searches okay so I need to make another selection set which includes all of the items except for the design lines and this is how you do that so you start with the item and you tell it the, the what you're looking for oh excuse me
um, let's do this one. The layer is a wild card, okay? And you can tell it that you want to find every single layer, regardless of what it's called. Then this one, this one's kind of cool because what you'll do with this one is you'll negate. So first you're going to select everything that's in the file, and then you're going to negate the layer which contains DSGN design. So then you find all of those items, and what you'll notice is that you're missing the design lines. The design lines are not part of this search. So again, I will save this search as uh, all objects. Um, oh, uh, fab fabrication objects, fab, fab objects minus design line. Okay. That's a very descriptive way to put that. Okay, so now that I've got those searches set, I'm going to show you a new feature. Um, not a new feature, a different feature of how we can set up yet another uh, clash test, okay? So we're going to add a, a third clash test, and this one will be mechanical piping without design lines, okay? So let's see what we've got now. So in the rules, these are the ignoring rules, okay? You want to click on a new item, and you want to tell it that I want to specify properties, uh, sp specified selection sets. So you're going to um, ignore items where one item is set on design line, and the other, the other items that are set to fabrication objects minus the design line. Okay, so we're going to ignore any design line interference period. We're, we're about to ignore that. Okay, so let's go select for all our mechanical piping from the left and from the right we're going to compare it against all the mechanical piping with that exception rule. So we'll run the test. So what I've been able to do here is you're now noticing that I managed to whittle it down to only 11 uh, interferences as you can see here. And let's go back to our clash detection. I want to pin this open and let's select these clashes. Let's figure out where they are. And uh, I can't see this one yet. So let's go to clash two. This is a hard interference between two objects. And my expectation is that as I go through this, I'll find all of those locations where they're at. So this is how we leverage Navisworks to help us uh, kind of wade through all of the, the the uh, the mechanical interferences and, and just kind of dial this in so that we get the most relevant information and uh, we get we get all that taken care of so there are going to be instances where some of these objects are not actually clashes so this is a, a this is would be a, con, this would be considered a T uh, or a takeoff or a, a stab in or depending on the size here it would be considered some sort of fitting that would uh, plug into the side. This might not actually be a interference, right? So we can set that to approved or whatever the case is here. Now when I click on approved, you're going to see that it goes green, right? It goes green and up here also goes green. So you're going to see that as I review these and start to give them some designations here, I've got the accountability. Jay said at, uh, at this date and time, that this clash is in fact approved. So the idea here is you want to get rid of all the active clashes and all the new clashes and uh, make sure that you kind of go through the, appro the, the approval process to make sure everything's cleaned up here. So again, you can in fact do the interference detection in all of those other tools. You can do it in Revit, you can do it in AutoCAD MEP, and then you can do it in Fabrication CAD MEP as well. I'm an advocate for using the right tool for the job, and this one is fully featured clash detection capability inside of Navisworks Manage 2017.